In this video we are on Sima Road, which is one of the few paved roads that go into the interior of Mojave National Preserve and probably the least traveled among them. As we're starting from Interstate 15 and heading south, our first stop is the Sema Road Shell Station, which is an interesting roadside attraction in its own right. If you're traveling between Southern California and Las Vegas, this is the last gas station you'll find in California on Interstate 15, or the first depending on which direction you're traveling. The gas station's theme is the Sema Mining Company, and despite being pretty far from any town, there is a large assortment of snacks available for purchase there. They have a food counter and things such as fresh date shakes. And in the men's restroom, they even, instead of urinals, had a waterfall that you can relieve yourself into. I didn't get any footage of that, so you'll just have to take my word on it. Outside of the building near the gas pumps, there are animatronic miners where you push a button and this is what you get. Hey there, fellas. Did you know that miners have been panning for gold, silver, and iron ore in this area for over a hundred years? It's true. Miners would rush here for the best mining spot first and get their pans all set for catching gold and silver flecks in the river water. Now you know what's just as popular? Beef jerky inside the store. Yep, it's the tastiest jerky you'll ever find. Go we'll get you a bag or two and take them home for a friend. After leaving the gas station, it's only about a two or three minute drive south on Sema Road before you reach Mojave National Preserve. Mojave National Preserve is a really fun national park to explore. It's actually the third largest park in the national park system in the continental United States. There is a ton of natural and human history in the park, and luckily on Sema Road, we get to see a lot of that. Plus, where else can you find tortoise crossing signs? Our next stop on Sema Road was going to be Valley View Ranch, which is about 10 miles south of Interstate 15. Unfortunately, in August 2020, there were devastating wildfires throughout California, including at Mojave National Preserve. Fortunately, not all of the ranch, with parts of it dating back to the 1800s, was destroyed. But you do have to take a one and a half mile road from Sema Road to get there. With the devastation from the fires, the Park Service was asking for cars not to travel on dirt roads in that area so as not to introduce any non-native seeds that may be stuck in your tires. Driving down the road, you can really see the devastation from the fires. The Joshua Tree Forest that we're driving through is the largest Joshua Tree Forest in the world, and one-fourth of it was destroyed by the fires, which is 1.3 million trees. We next stopped at the Tetonia Peak Trailhead. The Tetonia Peak Trail is a three mile hike that offers great views of Mojave National Preserve. But as you can probably see, this area was also devastated by the fires. The fire was started by a lightning strike and unfortunately it came at really the worst time as there were so many fires going on in the state of California at the time. They weren't able to get any emergency support because the priorities were for more populated areas. So as you drive through the park, miles and miles look just like this. Joshua trees aren't fast growing trees either, so unfortunately the forest is not going to return in our lifetimes. On a much more positive note, almost right across the street from the Tetonia Peak Trailhead is the Mojave Cross, which was not touched by the fires at all. In 1934, J. Riley Bembry and some of his fellow World War I veterans, many of whom were sent to the high desert for their lung disease from the gas during the war, erected the Mojave Desert Veterans Memorial Cross atop Sunrise Rock. Despite starting out as a World War I memorial, eventually it was dedicated to the dead of all wars. Much like Mount Soledad in San Diego, which we did a video on previously, the cross gained national attention in 2001 when a lawsuit was filed over the cross being on public lands. 
The case went all the way to the Supreme Court, and in 2010 they ruled the cross could stay as the land had been transferred to the veterans of foreign wars. Another seven miles south on Sema Road and we come to our next stop, the ghost town of Sema, California. Last time we went to Sema a few years ago, there were old wooden buildings all over the place. As you can see, now there are buildings literally all over the place. Sema was founded around 1900 when H.C. Gibson established the first store in the area. In 1905, the first post office opened up inside the store. A historical tidbit that I saw posted quite a few different places, though I'm unable to verify if it's true, is that Gibson refused to pump gas for his customers and therefore created the first self-service gas station in the country. We even came across what looked like an old mine at SEMA. It did have a ladder going down into it, but I wasn't able to tell how deep it was because there was barbed wire surrounding it. SEMA was an important railroad town, and near the train tracks you could find things like old railroad ties. The SEMA grade was the steepest part of the line between Los Angeles and Las Vegas. The tracks rise 2,000 feet in 20 miles, and SEMA, which means top in Spanish, was at the summit of the grade. So helper cars would help the trains from Kelso, which is about 19 miles away, to SEMA, and then turn around at SEMA. The Union Pacific still regularly travels through SEMA, though with modern trains there's no longer a need for helper cars, killing the town's main business. The town does still have a store, though it wasn't open on our visit, likely due to the coronavirus pandemic. The town also has a pink payphone, which I did pick it up and there was a dial tone. And that brings us to the end of Sema Road, where it forms a T-intersection with Kelso Sema Road. You are now firmly in the middle of Mojave National Preserve. From there, it's 19 miles to the Kelso Depot, which is also the park's visitor center and a must-see location in Mojave National Preserve. I hope you enjoyed our trip down SEMA Road. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.